Hello, I'm David, a technician at AVA Direct Custom Computers, America's leader in custom computing solution and home to over 10,000 component options. Now, you may be thinking, David, this video looks familiar. You are correct, but it is because we are upgrading our studio, new lighting, better camera quality, better audio quality, so you can watch these videos and learn and be entertained. Now, this motherboard is the Gigabyte TRX50 AI Top. This board was provided by Gigabyte, but there was no expectation that we would make any content for it. It was just so we could see the board. We liked it, so we decided that we would make some content for it. This board is very firmly in workstation category. It's not for gamers. It's not a server board, so you don't, not, don't expect to see it in any servers. This is firmly workstation. It's exactly who it's advertised at. People who want to do AI on their own local system. Now, we really like this board because it's, it's well built. It's very affordable for the features that it offers. Gigabyte told us this board would be at 899 MSRP, which is very competitive with the WRX90 boards that it competes with. Now, how does it compete with WRX90? Well, as you can see, this board has eight DIMM slots, whereas most TRX50 boards only have four. It also has all PCIe Gen 5 versus a lot of the TRX50 boards on the market will have some Gen 4 slots mixed in. This board can fit uh, four dual slot cards. That would be like an RTX 6000 ADA or something along the lines of that. Which, if, if you're going this, you, you will probably go RTX Quadro cards or Quadro RTX cards. You're not gonna go 3090s or 4090s. This will probably fit two 5090s on it. Honestly, the spacing is great actually. So more likely, the 5090 will be very, very similarly sized to a 4090. So more likely this would, this would probably fit two 5090s on it, assuming that they're, you know, four slot cards, which they probably will be. I would say more creator workstation. Um, and it sounds weird, um, but for something like this. So the reason why this is useful is because you can use, you can use other people's AI. You know, if, if you want to use like Hugging Face or ChatGPT and stuff like that, you can use theirs, but they charge you. To have access to those APIs, literally every query is a, you know, a dollar amount, which can add up. If you're doing say, you know, 15, 20,000, you know, API accesses, it can get very expensive. So having it local and yeah, it's gonna be higher up front, but you could save money in, you know, in the next couple of years by not having to pay that per access fee. So like, I can actually look it up is $5 for 1 million input tokens and $15 per 1 million output tokens. And if you're using their batch API, it is 250 per 1 million input tokens and 750 for 1 million output tokens. Yeah, so here's a good prices. Prices can be viewed in either units of either per 1 million or 1K tokens. You can think of tokens as pieces of words where 1,000 tokens is about 750 words. It's not quite one-to-one, -one, it's about 75%, so one million output tokens is 750,000 words. So, $15 for 750,000 words, which could go very fast. I mean, you're talking about, you know, imagine if you're like, oh, can you write me a five-page essay? You know, that, that could be, you know, a couple, couple thousand words right there, or maybe you have it you know, writing a short story. It could be 50 pages, you know, 50 pages, a couple hundred words of pages. And if you have, you know, several thousand users doing that, it could get expensive pretty quickly. So let's go over some of the headers and ports on the board. Up top, we have the two eight pin power connectors over here, as well as two more over here. Not all of them are required for standard operation. Two of them are for more than two GPUs, or if you want to do CPU overclocking. You have your RGB, which is obviously will not be used when you're AI training, your 24 pin power connector, and then two more eight pin power connectors that will also power GPUs. 
you have your USB 3 Type-C front panel, your SATA 6 gigabits per second, as well as two more USB front panel. Here are your front panel buttons and LEDs. You have a plethora of fan connectors, two more USB 2 front panel connectors, a TPM, two more RGB, and an audio front panel header. Now, going over the center of the board, we have your eight DIMM slots. These takes DDR5R DIMM. You have your SP5 socket for your CPU. You have four PCIe Gen 5 full 16X slot. Under this, you have all of your Gen 5 M.2s as well, and your BIOS battery. Now, if we turn the board over, you can go ahead and see this large metal back plate, which has your pass-throughs for your mounting points, as well as these screws, which secure into the PCIe slot on the front of the board. Now on the back, we have our Q-Flash Plus button, which allows us to flash a BIOS to this board without any CPU or RAM. We have our Quick Connect Wi-Fi 7. We have our two USB 3.2s. We have our display port in, which carries the video for our two USB 4 ports. We have our line out, as well as our mic in. We have four more USB 3.2 ports, as well as two 10 gig ethernet ports. Now, what I really like about this board is that it is TRX50. Gigabyte went and put all the bells and whistles from the higher end WRX90 platform like the eight DIMM slots, the full PCI Gen 5, but because it's not WRX90, you have the ability to socket non-pro Threadripper chips into it. The WRX90 socket can only put Threadripper Pro chips, it cannot put the high-end desktop chips in, and there's a huge price difference between those. If you go with the Threadripper 7980X, which is a 64-core chip, it's right around $4,800. The pro version of the exact same chip, which does have some added bells and whistles, but is probably not necessary for an AI workstation board, it's $7,500. And I could definitely imagine spending that $2,800-ish somewhere else in a board like that. Overall, it's just a great board. Aesthetically, it's pleasing. Nothing too flashy, no RGB lighting or anything, you know, grays blues, uh, you're not going to get a lot of uh, glances because your computer is glowing in the middle of the day. Thank you for watching this, uh, this overview of the Gigabyte TRX50 AI Top. If you uh, want to see more content like this, go ahead and check out our video we did on the ROG Apex Encore. It's a very high-end uh, Z790 board for extreme overclocking. If you like the PC in the video, be sure to contact our sales team by emailing sales at aviadrock.com or head to the website by clicking the link within the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use the configurator to build the PC of your dreams. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can be notified of future content and give the video a like in support of our channel. You can follow the variety of our social media channels by visiting aviadirect.com forward slash community. You can also join our discord if you wish to engage in discussions related to custom built 